Welcome to Portugal and welcome to the Circuit of Estoril where we're here to test this. It's the Lamborghini Aventador SVJ, currently the world's fastest production car around the mighty Nürburgring. It has 760 horsepower and we're going to find out just how well it can put that power down on a very slippery racetrack. All right, we're heading out onto the track, the Circuito de Esporil in Portugal in the Lamborghini Aventador SVJ. I've got 760 horsepower underneath my right foot, so hang on. The SVJ is the latest and perhaps final iteration of the epic Aventador. What's changed? Not a lot, actually, but it's enough to make this car deliver an amazing 6 minute and 44 second lap time around the Nürburgring faster than the Porsche 911 GT2 RS and faster than the Huracan Performante, which previously held the record. And it's from the Performante that the SVJ has learned many of its tricks. Tricks like a new evolution of Lamborghini's ALA system. ALA stands for Lamborghini Active Aerodynamics, and it's a series of ducts in the nose and on the rear deck lid that channel air both through the front splitter and the rear wing. Using those internal ducts, the car can redirect the air, stalling out the wings to reduce drag or to increase grip. That means the car has both more downforce and yet less drag than previous Aventadors, so it can corner quicker and go faster down the straights, too. How does it all come together out here on the track? <laughs> Remarkably well. The surface here has just been redone, so there's not a lot of grip to be found here. But the SVJ does a remarkable job of putting that 760 horsepower down. There's a little bit of understeer at first, but you just add a little bit more throttle in. <laughs> and the nose just comes right around. And it tucks right in and away you go, rocketing down the next straight. Oh, it's still the brutal Aventador that we've come to know and love. But it's got so much more grip and poise combination of the active aerodynamics and the rear wheel steering coming together to create a really remarkable experience. The engine has received a slight power bump of about 20 horsepower, bringing it up to just short of 760. But the real magic comes from the all-wheel drive system and the new all-wheel steering system, which can turn the rear wheels either in line with the fronts or against them, making the car more nimble or more stable. And then there is that sound, that unbelievable sound from the six and a half liter V12. No turbos, nothing in the way to block that incredible song coming out of the back of this car. Uh, one of the best sounding cars in the market. And I'm so thankful that it's still on the market. <laughs> In terms of design, the SVJ isn't exactly a radical departure from what came before, but that big rear wing will surely turn some heads, as will the SVJ graphics on the rear fenders, which are available in your choice of colors, by the way. But look closer and you'll see a custom front splitter and rear diffuser, plus a high exhaust exit that makes room for a giant new rear diffuser. No surprise that most of this is made from carbon fiber, just like the central monocoque of the car. To differentiate the SVJ from the normal Aventador, on the outside, of course, there's a big front diffuser in that giant wing out back. On the inside, there are also quite a few new touches, like some SVJ incest on the leather upholstery here, some highlights in here that you can get in pretty much any color that you want to. But the big change is actually something you can't see, and actually it involves what else you can't see, which is pretty much anything out the back of the car. That big new wing and that center duct for the ALA aerodynamic system pretty much takes care of all of the rear visibility of this car. You can never really see that great out of an Aventador to begin with. And in the new SVJ, you're going to be using your mirrors a lot. And what about on the road? Well, I actually didn't get to drive it there, but Lamborghini promises that while the racier modes are stiffer and more extreme than before, on the SVJ Strada or street setting, it's actually just as comfortable as a normal Aventador S. Overall, Lamborghini hasn't quite pulled off a reinvention here. It's another set of subtle tweaks to an aging car that do a surprisingly good job of making it feel like something young and spry. 
The SVJ is a remarkably quick car, but what's really remarkable is just how much fun it is to drive. It's still incredibly engaging, and that's a rare mix, making this a really good car, and this was a really good day.